today's R&B and Throwback to B103 is the Beyonce Fox experience. And man, what an experience this is for me. Not only because I'm a big fan of MJ, Michael Jackson, I'm also now a fan of Roman Banks, who plays Michael Jackson in MJ, the musical, which is coming to Chicago in August. Woo! I'm so happy. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Welcome to the city of Chicago. Amen, amen. Do you get here much? I, this is my first time. Yesterday was my first day in Chicago. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now? I'm not kidding you at all. <gasps> Really? Really, really, really. Do you need a tour guide for anything? I, I would love a tour guide, okay. actually. I love being a tourist. Um, we, did, we, we saw the bean, which, okay. can I just say, the pictures do not do it justice. I know. Isn't that My amazing? mouth was agape. That is so amazing. It looks like a nice piece of jewelry out of Tiffany, doesn't it? Yeah, and it kind yeah. of, we saw it at such a great time where it like blended in with the sky Ooh. and the night lights were up and yes. it was it was quite a sight. Oh my gosh, gosh. Well, if you need anything, you, you know, you can call me, text me, whatever. <laughs> I will be more than happy to tell you okay. all about Chicago. Yeah, I'm here for it, it is so very nice to have you here. I have to admit, I did see MJ the Musical on Broadway phenomenal yeah. it may even be my favorite musical that i've ever seen dun, dun, in life dun. and i've seen quite a few yeah yeah so yeah. i am so eager wow. to see what you do with it roman i am i cannot wait and you actually eerily look like michael jackson right now i've been hearing that even and before makeup and hair and all of that it's scaring me hello i've been hearing that and i i receive it so because i was so nervous can i tell you i was so nervous really? i was like how am i gonna look in the wig how am i gonna look in the costume is it gonna be like that's not my goal or is it gonna be like oh i can kind of see it but i've oh, been yeah. hearing just the most <laughs> wonderful you know affirming things uh yeah. today and since the picture's gone out and i gotta say I'm, I'm, i feel good i feel yeah. good about the portrayal and about the resemblance and what more could i ask for? happy for you man so Thank in you. my opinion michael jackson is the greatest entertainer of all time that's Same. my opinion yeah, that's what, my and opinion. in my generation yeah um, what an honor it has to be for you to portray him. Mm -hmm. When you found out that you landed the role, what was the first thing that you did? I have a video on my MacBook that's like seven minutes long and it's me <laughs> dancing to Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. Ooh. And it's literally just me in the apartment by myself. But it's almost like I was, I watched it the other day and I was kind of speaking to myself mm -hmm. in the video. And I'm, I'm like in the camera and I'm like, you know when you have a dream and you take a chance on yourself? <laughs> And it's scary, but it works out. And then I'm just dancing. Oh my. Yeah, you know, it's 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 so important to celebrate yourself. Absolutely. I have, I have some friends who I have to really encourage to mm -hmm. celebrate themselves, mm -hmm. you know, because it, the, the prize isn't in the accomplishment. The mm -hmm. prize is in the work you put into it yes. and, and honoring that. Yeah. So sometimes I honor the jobs I don't get because of the work that I did. You know, we can't we can't put the prize in the in the medal or the award. It has to be an experience, and so um, I value the experience. Thankfully, I also get to do it. You mm -hmm. know, um, but yeah, my mom taught me to celebrate myself from a very young age. I and, love it. So and you were so just I took that moment for dancing around, oh you go yeah, screaming around the apartment like, oh my god, I'm gonna play Michael Jackson. Can't scream, oh couldn't scream too loud oh, at okay. that point. But oh, okay. now I, I'm I'm certain so, at some moment on the street today I will scream out. <laughs> You know, just gotta <laughs> shout it to the world. That's what that's what he told us to do. I love it. To the it. World. I love it. Now, how did you prepare for this role? I mean, I know you're an actor. You're no stranger to Broadway. Mm -hmm. Hello, <laughs> he's been there. He's done that. But to play this man who is considered the greatest performer on planet Earth, yeah. how do you prepare for that? Did you do research? Did you just watch his videos a million times? Mm -hmm. What we are. We are a work in progress. Okay. The, the tape is still up. The curtain is still closed. You know, okay. so we are daily working. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm currently reading his bi autobiography, which I didn't even know existed, but it's called Moonwalk. Yeah. Um, and I'm currently reading that. We're doing lots of rehearsing. We're doing ballet rehearsals. We're doing, wow. uh, you know, official choreography rehearsals from the show. Those mm -hmm. are anywhere from two to four hours a day. Ooh. We're doing sing-throughs. I'm, I'm watching things on my own time. I'm doing voice lessons. We're doing dialect coaching. So mm -hmm. it, it never stops, you mm -hmm. know? And and it also, because I'm such a big fan of his work, it doesn't always feel like work, you know? Yeah. When I sit down and I watch a concert and I'm looking for, you know, the magic, the sauce, mm -hmm. or when I'm watching a video for the 50th time, it's like, <laughs> it's such an exploration still mm -hmm. that it doesn't feel like, okay, what else do I have to do now? It's like, 
no, let me see all the little things I can incorporate and yeah. show to the audience to give them that magic that yeah. he gave us every time he performed. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I feel like there's a, a due diligence in place. Um, and like I said, inspiring too. You're, you're not new to Broadway. You mm -hmm. were in uh, Dear Evan Hansen. Yes. And then also you're doing some things with Disney. I the did a uh, High School Musical, musical, musical yeah. series. Yeah. So I guess I just can't get enough of musicals. <laughs> but you have the foundation. <laughs> yeah. So your foot was already on stage. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you kind of know what you're doing. Yeah. So. And that's... then to add the fact that you like Michael and you're a fan, I'm right. sure that makes it a lot easier, right? It does. It does. And I, I feel so blessed to come into this show at a place where it is established itself mm -hmm. and the people somewhat know what to expect when they come to see this so that I don't have to work as hard to win people over okay. and not that I'm using that excuse I will give it everything I've got every single of time course. I touch the stage but Miles did an incredible job of breaking that barrier and showing people that this thing has legs and that they're strong yeah. and that we just want to party with you yeah. you know we just want to have a great time yeah. in the theater in the morning and at night um, and, and we can't wait to celebrate with everyone. Now, MJ the Musical is centered around um, Michael Jackson's preparation for his 1990 tour, uh, 1992 Dangerous World Tour. Mm -hmm. uh, Roman, were you even born in 1992? I was born about six years after that. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think but you, you know knew what? anything about that Dangerous World My Tour. My spirit was floating <laughs> in the ether. Okay. Something was being created, yeah. and manifested, and yeah. lived into life. Okay. Um, I like to think of it that way, but no, um, but I, I gotta tell you, like we, you know, my parents bought This Is It when mm -hmm. it came out on disc. We had the history tour on DVD, you know, um, <laughs> my, my uncle was in the bad music video. Oh, so like okay. there, we run deep mm -hmm. when it comes to MJ. Okay. You know, and, and, and so, um, I grew up watching a lot of performances of his, mm -hmm. you know, my favorite performance of his is a 1988 Grammy performance. When he does the way you make me feel into man in the mirror yeah. he did not win a single grammy that night for the bad album how what? insane is that you win eight for thriller and none for bad how does that happen i don't know maybe they were salty maybe they're salty that he swept i i don't know i don't know but <laughs> it's it's such greatness uh embodied in that performance and what are uh some of the songs that are performed in the musical there's some really well-known ones, mm -hmm. right? We've got our thriller. Yep. We've got our wannabe starting something. Yep. Um, but we've also got some of the more personal ones, like Stranger Moscow yeah. and Can't Help It and She's Out of My Life. And so we get the peaks in the, in the what is it, the troughs of, of, uh, of Michael mm -hmm. and, and, and his catalog. Mm -hmm. And I like that, you know, there were songs I had never heard when I saw the show. And I, I've listened to Michael for years. Yeah. And so I like that we're getting new sides for some people mm -hmm. you know and we get to explore the range of his discography yes. you know from the time that he was so small um up until the dangerous tour mm, yeah um your favorite part of the musical and why uh, my favorite part of it. just, just one i know you got like a million but the, just one the act two opening the act two opening it's it's a whole it's a beast okay i don't want to spoil anything but okay it's a beast and it really, that's the first time when I saw the show that I really sat back in my seat and said, this is special. Wow. Okay. This is really special. I'm and to call it, but. It's been hard to learn that mm -hmm. section. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of movement in yeah. that section, but it is so beautiful that I just, I really want to get it down, down, down so that people can have the same reaction that I had in the theater, which I was like, oh my <laughs> gosh. I was like, the show's not even over and I want to come back. So, yeah. 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 Cool. I I'm telling you, it's so amazing. Yeah. Now, has playing Michael Jackson changed your life in any way? Well, I haven't gotten to play him yet. But well, even today. Just landing the role. Even today, yeah. I think it's changing my life. Mm -hmm. um, How so? It's a tr I, I call it a healing theatrical experience. Mm. I would say that this is a very black show, mm. Mm. you know, where, where it's a black musician's life that we have, yeah. you know, the, the opportunity to display for everyone. And I've never had the opportunity to work on anything like that. Mm -hmm. So to show up at work and be able to bring all of myself to what I'm working on, yeah. my soul, my heart, my influences, that is the best part of all of this. And getting to sit with black creatives mm -hmm. like yourself mm -hmm. to celebrate this moment mm -hmm. and to, you know, I met a young man today who he was like, I, 
I've been following you for this long, yeah. and young black man, and, and that that's why I started doing this because yeah. someone else gave me that feeling. So awesome. the the blessing that I am, I I've been in this for I think what five six years professionally, mm -hmm. and that I'm already able to see that impact in real time. That's my life's fulfillment right there. And, and so everything after that is just joy, pure, pure joy. And finally, what is one takeaway? Why should we go see the MJ musical? And what do we learn about Mike that we may not have known? Let me tell you what I learned when I saw it on Broadway. Mm. I learned that he had a sense of humor. <laughs> he is so soft-spoken, yeah. and you gotta really listen to that thing, but he's got a couple <laughs> things where they're like cracking up like, really, Mike? Yeah, he had a sense of humor. Yes. He was actually funny. He was funny. And he would slide a man on you. Yeah, yeah. No, he was funny. There's a lot of videos. I yeah. mean, he would get up in disguises. He would have water balloons. Yes. Like, I mean, the man had an amusement park at his house. You got to yeah. have some sense of humor yeah. to to explore, you know, life like that. Mm -hmm. um, that's a really great takeaway. <laughs> I, I like to tell people that you're going to see a human being, mm -hmm. right? Like, people are funny. You know, people... Mm -hmm are sad, people are happy, people are angry, right? We're gonna yeah. see a humanized icon. Yeah. Um, and that's something I feel so grateful to show people because that's what I saw when I saw the show. I was like, I didn't know that happened. Mm. Oh, that gives me a different perspective on this. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that was how that unfolded, yeah. you know? And, and we don't dive into everything, but, but what you take away is certainly a deeper appreciation for the effort that this man gave mm, for mm -hmm. his entire life yes. from five to 50. Yeah. He never stopped trying to be the best. And I, we just want to capture that energy and that ride and, and take y'all along with us. Yeah, and I cannot wait to go for the ride. Come along. Come Let me along. just tell you this. I don't know if you're aware, but you know, Gary, Indiana is just like 33 miles south and east of here. If you ever want to go to his childhood oh, home, 2300 right. Jackson Street. We're going. You get there with no traffic in probably like 30 minutes. I can't wait. So you no, need I to want to do like a, a cast field trip. I would love to do oh, that. Would be so dope. we all get to experience that, that would be dope. together. Yeah. That's a really special thing. And the, for this to be the first city, mm -hmm. you know, and, and his actual home yeah. is within reach like that. Yeah. I. It's so special. It's so yeah. special. I feel so embraced by the I'm city just, already. I'm just so happy for you. And I cannot wait to see you in this role. If I can, I will go see it a thousand times. Please. It will be at the Nederlander Theater. We August have Beyonce 1st. in the crowd tonight, everybody. <laughs> and everybody be like, oh my God, oh my God. And they'll be like, oh, the girl from radio? Oh, <laughs> Beyonce okay. Fox, Beyonce Fox. <laughs> right. You always and, get to say Fox. Don't stop clapping. <laughs> don't stop clapping. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> but anyway, I love your fashion. You're Thank giving me you. 2023 Michael Jackson hey, vibes. that's the goal. That, I, I promise you, dude. That's like, really the goal. You are wearing that. You're giving me a little uh, Alexander McQueen meets Chanel hey, meets come Roman on, Banks come on. meets Michael Jackson. And I'm here for all Beyonce, of it. I love you. I love I you, love back. love you. Seriously. You get it. You get I am it. here for that it. That was the vision for yes, today. And I'm yes. happy I was able to execute that. Absolutely, you did. Roman Banks, I'm so proud of you. you and I'm so happy for you. And I will be there at the Nederlander Theater. Get hey. your ticket, Chicago. August 1st through uh, September the 2nd. And we just want to honor you and just oh, glow you. all over you because you're amazing. Thank, thank you. So I cannot wait to see you portray the great Michael Jackson. Amen. Thank you. Ruby 103. <laughs>